Legacy Traders, it's Tim with Option Legacy, helping you build a legacy through trading. We have another Friday market recap, and you might notice there's something missing. Jesse, where are you? Jesse's actually here in studio, so we're going to do a little movie magic, and he will come in and share with you all of his results as well. But I'll take this one away, so let's hop into the broker platform. First, I'm going to start with the market recap of what I expect um, to happen for the coming week. So we're looking at SPY, it's the ETF of the S&P 500, and we've had a pretty great week, in my opinion. We had some big tech tech earnings, and then we had a little bit of a trade scare um, with long journey or long road to go, uh, is what some of the White House representatives said, and then we had a bounce today. So uh, let's see, two, one, two, four here. So we started bouncing up and then we had some trade scare and then today we actually on Friday we actually opened down below the 10 day simple moving average but we moved higher. So this is what I'm expecting for the coming week. I'm expecting a momentum bounce on this 10 day simple moving average and then us to continue higher in the overall market. So I'm still saying that we've got some bullish momentum here even though there's some trade worries and things like that. We'll see what happens. Um, however, Monday is going to be the real indicator for me there. So if Monday is a down day, then we're going to be looking to that 20-day simple moving average as a support to, for a possible bounce. If Monday is a green day, which is what I'm rooting for, then I expect another bullish rally. But it's important to note that you need to proceed with caution. With the political climate right now, one bad headline can drive this market in one direction nonstop um, with strength. So don't put all your eggs in one basket or don't trade solely one direction. You need to have a, a variety of things. So let's look at uh, the trades that we did put on this week. We had a phenomenal week. I put on a trade in Visa. One day was able to close out $89 uh, profit per contract or a 31% return on investment in a day. That's what's possible. All of our Suzy Trade Alert subscribers got that entry and exit as soon as we did it. Uh, then Apple was a three day, put it on last week on Friday and then closed it out on Tuesday. And in three days, it generated a 95% return on investment or a $335 gains per contract. So guys, plug in your own numbers there. What if you were trading with a position size of 500 bucks and would you double that? 95% return on investment would turn that into about $1,000. Or if you had a position size that was, let's say, 5,000 bucks, in three days, you would turn that $5,000 into just shy of $10,000 with this trade. That was a Suzy Trade Alert. Uh, ability there. So you can see here, here is the proof. We've got Apple uh, that was filled back on the 31st at 350 and then we exited out at 25 and we closed this thing for 685 credit. That total was a 335 or 95% return on investment in three days. And then Visa, just one single day. We entered in on February 4th, exited on February 5th. We took $287 per contract and grew it into $376 per contract. A real quick synopsis, you'll see here, I wanna show you the rationale behind it. Apple closed above the 50 day simple moving average. On the 31st, it continued higher, we entered into it, and then after this pop higher, we were at or near 100% return on investment, so I said let's go ahead and exit, and then what happened over the next two days and three days we drew down and it worked out into our advantage. So that's perfect. Let's look at Visa. It was a one day trade on the fourth and the fifth. And then we'll go into the rationale behind um, behind our open trades because we have two open trades on. Okay, so we entered in on the fourth here and you'll notice that there is, well, let me zoom out a little bit. There is this resistance line that we had drawn from back from October that was creating some highs. And so we entered here on the fourth and we said, we're only gonna try to capture a small, it's like a dollar move to the upside. And then we wanna exit whenever this thing gets higher than 42.15. And sure enough, the next day it hit over 42.15. We exited and in that one single day, we made 30% return on investment. What? This is the power of trading options. It was a great week for me. 
uh, closed out one trade, 95% return on investment, another trade for 31% return on investment. So with some movie magic, whoop, I am going to invite Jesse over and he's going to share with you the rationale um, behind his closed trades and the results that he had. Whoosh. Hey everyone, I'm here in studio with Tim and I'm going to go over my market recap, having a little bit of fun here. I'm getting super pasty. Look at this guys, this is getting real pasty right now. Okay, let's jump right in. Uh, market recap for this week is, uh, this coming week is somewhat muted. I think we're going to see some weakness. Um, when, I, when I'm looking at this chart, it's, it's already starting to break down just a hair. We had a green day today. Um, there's a crossover here in the stochastics and MACD is kind of confirming some weakness. So I'm going to say my assumption for next week is going to be um, it's going to be somewhat negative as far as the no <laughs> that's my personal assumption. I think we're going down a little bit, um, but we'll uh, you know we'll see what happens. I'm I'm just guessing, but uh, that's what it looks like on the chart to me. We could we could just see a bounce up. I mean, if anything, that could happen. I mean, market goes one of three ways: up, down, and center. All right, let's go over closed trades. So, guys, I was sweating. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. No, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna be honest. I was sweating a little bit with Twitter because earnings was coming. Uh, uh, up and I did not mean to put an earnings trade on for the subscribers out there. I was actually kind of disappointed when I found out that it was really close to earnings, but it was a reverse jade lizard. This thing I put on on the 31st, I think. Yes, the 31st. And uh, we closed out uh, yesterday, so Thursday. That was um, this gap down here. And it was we were short. We had negative delta on this reverse jade lizard. We wanted the Twitter to go down. Uh, we were getting squeezed though on the upside. So every day it had just been creeping slowly, slowly, painfully to the upside. And then lo and behold, even though they actually had good earnings, they closed, uh, the market was not happy. And so they just gapped down. Winner, winner, chicken dinner for us. We pulled off a uh, $53 profit, a 13% ROI on this reverse jade lizard. It held. $394 in buying power and a 50% return on max profit. So that is a winner in my book. It closed out on the GTC that I put that good till canceled that good till canceled canceled that order closed out the position at the opening bell on this day. So that is fantastic for me. I'm going to send it back over to Tim so he can cover his trade alerts and then we'll I'll be right back to cover my opening trades for this week for all you lovely Susie subscribers out there. Okay, I'm back. Thanks, Jesse. So now we are going to break down for our Suzy Trade Alert subscribers the rationale behind our open trades. So we let every Suzy Trade Alert subscriber uh, know the thought process and the trade plan of every trade that we enter as it's open, what we expect, and what we expect going forward. So let's do that for everyone else. I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below or email me directly at tim at optionlegacy.com. I can't wait to help you build a legacy. Till then, I'll see you in the next video. And then you're gonna hand it off to me at the end of this part because you're my opening trades. Yeah, yeah, you're. Um, and then I'll hand it back to you to close it, or however, however you want to cut it. Yeah, so I have it cut in the sense that. I said, okay, Jesse's gonna share with us his closed, his, closed his market recap or his right. market perspective and closed trades, and then we'll come back for our Susie Trade Alert subscribers. So I'm gonna do my Susie alert, and then I'm gonna say, hey, Jesse, take it away. You're gonna end the video.